some more fun 2025 news this time to to the football gridiron i know many of you uh opine for the days of the southwest conference i do too honestly enough of this four corners crap for me sometimes i'm like let's just do the old swc all texas plus we'll include the hogs in there too um obviously a long running conference what do they get 80 years out of that thing maybe 90 up until 1996 we get the big 12 and it's never the same again and now it's really not the same because we don't have ut anymore we don't have oklahoma which we grew fond of having that game we don't have a&m it's wild i mean this is going to be the first time like probably ever that Baylor does not have UT or A&M on the roster in 2024, but they will add another Southwest conference opponent in 2025. Yes. Bring on the pride of the Atlantic coast conference, the SMU Mustangs Baylor announced today that the bears and SMU will renew their rivalry in 2025 and 2026 a little home at home piece. Um, I love it. I love it. This game should not have been taken off the schedule. They haven't played since 2016. It's so almost 10 years by the time that they'll get back together. Like the first game at McLean, what a great memory. Who did they play? SMU. My first Baylor football game as a student was against SMU. Like there's, there's history here. I mean, these guys have played a bunch. And by a bunch, I mean, well, I need to get out of this ad to see. They've played a bunch. And now I need to do math, and that is 75, 82 times, 82 times over their tenure, mostly as conference foes. And by the way, the current winning streak, a, a very lucky 13 in a row for the Bears starting back in 1989. Of course, SMU was really on tough times back then. In fact, I'm more surprised to see that they must have played in 1988 and also would have lost because this is the beginning of the, the death penalty for the ponies. Uh, Bayor leads the all-time series 39-36 to 36 with seven ties in there. And again, the 13-game winning streak. Uh, this 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 does have a lot of history in there. I mean, I, I get it. It's not Bayor TCU. It's not Bayor UT. Um, for, on the other side, SMU saying, well, it's not SMU TCU. It's not the biggest. Uh, matchup that they've ever had but it, but it's one that those two should be playing you know what i mean like for as much as we say it with ut and a and m if baylor and smu are both in power five conferences they should be playing each other they should be playing each other um and that is what's going to happen the bears are going to go to Highland Park, University Park, whatever, University Park, not Dallas, but University Park uh, on September 26th, 2025, which if you are up to date with your Baylor scheduling years in the future, you will know that that could that first matchup could be off the back of a huge matchup the week before. I don't know if it's going to be a week before or a week after, but I believe it's yeah, it is the week before. Yes, it's week one of the season. In 2025, Baylor will host the Auburn Tigers. And boy, how interesting is that? They'll go to the Plains the next year, um, but they will get, how about that for you? SEC week one at home, and then just a short 90-minute trip up for the ACC in week two. I am so excited that that's coming back. Obviously, SMU will then come to McLean in 2026, and then Baylor will go out to Auburn. Um, this is, this is, I think, good for both universities and good for the sport. And like, I, I talk about their last matchup was 2016. SMU had not even come close to turning the corner at that point. Uh, they thought they had come close. Um, that would have been Chad Morris era, which they were not close. Um, and, it seems like they have turned certainly some sort of corner the last couple of years, right? They they got in the rankings for the first time in like 40 years a few seasons ago. They won the conference last year, a conference that not a lot of people thought they would win. I get it. Their schedule was really bad, but they did win the conference. Uh, then lost to BC at Fenway Park, but they're now going to the big time ACC, and this is a game that should happen. And uh, again, we didn't really get the best of SMU. Uh, that they had to offer uh, towards those last few games. But Art Bryles would always say, uh, with SMU and with Rice, he would always be like, oh, I can't underestimate them. Oh, old SWC opponents can't take anything for granted. And then they'd win, you know, 68 to 14. Um, 
but those were those were fun running up the score on SMU a little bit. But this will this will be big for uh, the programs and it will be big for recruiting because you know we'll laugh and I will continue to laugh at SMU not taking any money from the ACC for whatever thirty years or what what is it eight years they're just not going to take money any revenue money and the ACC might be dead by then. But the allure of power conference college football over what they were in before is going to mean that they and Baylor and and TCU and Tech will be on something of a more level level playing field when it comes to uh when it comes to recruiting. And hopefully it will be the Keenan Hall ball because hopefully Keenan Hall will still be on that Baylor coaching staff. But let me know if you've got some old timers in here who remember, you know, the Grant Taft, Bobby Collins matchups and, you know, the Eric Dickerson and Mike Singletary. I don't think they ever actually overlapped, but those kinds of matchups drop that down in the comments below. How excited are you to have SMU back on the schedule? Hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. We really appreciate that. And if you want to keep up to date on all the Baylor sports news, be sure to give us a like and ring the notification bell because we are your first listen today and every day. We are your exclusive home for nothing but Baylor sports content five days a week that's not coming straight from the university. Be sure to follow us here on YouTube and also wherever you get your podcasts and on Twitter as well at Locked on Baylor. Thanks so much again. Have a good one and sick of